Hello, Betty Croswick here. I had planned to use this posting uh, to continue um, with these uh, subject of feelings uh, because it's very important that uh, we understand these feeling um, provisions that are being have been laid out in Canadian uh, law right now. Uh, that may affect some of us in the future. Um, the plans that I had for this posting uh, went awry this morning because of the smoke that lingers in the air that makes it kind of hard to breathe if you go outside. And then 90, at 92, I have no wish to <laughs> die smoke inhalation if I can avoid it um, and as most people uh, older people are taking caution and as they should I uh, um, because uh, of the smoke that made me want to um, connect this this smoke this uh, wildfire smoke uh, well, like we don't have enough smoke of our own during the wild part season, uh, but we share. We're Canadians. We're good people. Is that um, the connections between that and a question that um, a friend asked me recently? She said, "Betty, um, why don't you continue to write about the?" Uh, deforestation of British Columbia. You write about that really well and people understand it. And instead of trying to write about the banking system, which is uh, difficult to understand uh, and it's boring and um, you don't have experience with that. And my answer to that was, she's is a dear friend. I said, yes, well, there's hardly anybody in Canada who doesn't have experience with the banks who's over 12 years old that has a credit card or other uh, dealings with uh, how the uh, the, uh, the banking system can turn on you in a dime and eat you. And uh, that I, I just really have to understand this somewhat at least because when I was in court, I, I did wonder a lot about why intelligent, highly educated people like these judges couldn't see the connections between allowing unrestrained, clear-cut logging on public lands and uh, deterioration of the environment. They just didn't get it. Uh, uh, they're... Um, their uh, mantra was um, that uh, you, uh, when you protest and refuse to move, when the police tell you to in front of a logging truck, uh, that uh, where an injunction has been put on that um, uh, people, uh, for people who try to interfere with the logging, um, you're guilty of contempt of court. And uh, no matter how hard I tried in court, and I spent a lot of sleepless nights trying to understand this, some of them in prison actually, why they didn't get it. And uh, after I got out of prison, I kept thinking about this and then connecting it also to other corporations, the mining, the um, the. Uh, the ways in which pharmaceuticals or anything that can be financialized is uh, presented always as something good, even though it's demonstrably very bad. So we find ourselves living in a sea of lies that the courts too often let me put it that way, too often, both the United States and Canada land squarely on the side of the cor of the, cor the corporations. So it, I kept thinking about this and, uh, well, where uh, do the um, 
the cor cor corporations get their money? Where do they get their backing uh, if they, particularly ones who have not been uh, too wealthy before? How does this happen? Well, part of it happens, a good part of it happens with the judgments that the judgment that the judges make. And uh, that judges are very important in the ways in which the corporations operate in conjunction with the banks, the banking systems, um, and that it all has to do with a certain class of people who know each other and who belong to a certain class and who rather have the tendency, let me put it that way, to protect their own. And uh, this is uh, one, uh, one issue that I had a hard time wrapping my head around, that we really live uh, in a class, very class conscious um, society only the people are large, largely not aware of it, but the elites are very aware of it and aware of the public finding out <laughs> that we live in a class conscious culture and that there is a struggle going on and that it is a class war. Um, now these words are sound, oh, I'm going over the top, uh, uh, this is nonsense, this can't be true, you know, <laughs> our governments are good, they try to uh, make, uh, they're all for equality, making people equal, well, yes, they, they say these things, they say these things, but in reality, uh, the reality is somewhat different. And the forests of British Columbia and the bail-ins that um, are on the books in Canada now are two sides of the same coin. And um, if, if the entire province practically of British Columbia really desired that our logging, uh, that the logging stop in British Columbia, then why is it that it doesn't? Uh, how come? How come it doesn't? Well, again, it goes back to how judges interpret the law, how the attorney general refuses to intervene and allows the court to give out um, or the court gives out these um, injunctions and then the the uh, police then will move in and arrest people uh, not under the criminal code which everybody is supposed to be protected by this but the judges strip protesters from the defense of the criminal code and make them prisoners of the court and they will be uh, convicted of contempt of court. So it's, it's when you begin to see that uh, the judges, the uh, CEOs the, of, of, of the companies, of the corporations, the heads of government, and even when the unions are crooked, heads of unions talk to each other uh, and um, can uh, make deals that uh, we don't know about, that we, um, but they all associate within their own circles. They, they, they form clubs, loose alignments, and which um, the common people don't have. We don't have, we get to vote. That's all we can do. We can vote. Uh, we can protest, but unless we 
that can come up with uh, enough people to be so massive that uh, a country's become frightened of a spontaneous revolution, they won't do anything. Uh, they will continue with uh, the logging, with the pipelines being put in, with the uh, digging up the earth, uh, de uh, chopping down all the trees. It, all of this together is killing us, is killing the planet. And uh, the banks hold a mighty interest in this. In fact, this bail-in thing was not a... Uh, uh, brainchild of Canada's it come from it came from the bankers in Europe the heads of, of the central bankers uh, in Europe and uh, although Canada's a member of the central bankers you know these nations don't have the pull that the central bankers of the big countries do particularly ones in, you know, Germany and France and, um, and well, these, these, uh, the European Union, uh, heads, uh, in Switzerland, they're the ones who bring this all together and decide of how the Western world is going to live. That's where the real power lies because they control the banks uh, and they control our Bank of Canada. The masquerades is a bank for the people, which is a farce. It's just one big fat private bank who is dictated to you by the, the bankers in Europe. So talk about this more next time and more about these aliens. Okay, next time. Thank you. Bye.